Providing patients with the best medical care begins by ensuring that first responders have the training and the tools to deliver it effectively. But in an unprecedented health crisis, it's not simply about mobilizing resources. It's a matter of creating them. In October, we were at our national conference. The day that our conference ended was the day that Nina Pham was diagnosed with Ebola. For myself, and I think for my colleagues, it hit home. Not only are we going to care for patients that potentially could have Ebola, but that we ourselves were in danger. The ENA's response was swift. In just days, it created a task force with the world's leading emergency care associations, providing a unified voice to guide the actions of first responders and better address the flood of inquiries from the public. We partnered with the Centers for Disease Control and the American College of Emergency Physicians to put out guidelines that were specific to emergency departments to be able to care for patients who present with possible Ebola. They didn't exist before then. By creating and maintaining a public-facing website, ENA has ensured that all emergency caregivers have access to reliable information to help them identify and treat patients who show signs of infection. We created this Ebola response and we were able to make a difference in the lives of our members and in the lives of the patients and families that they care for. And that really is reward enough. For ENA and its members, the reward is knowing that the resources they developed will inform and expedite the response of future emergency caregivers around the world. There's power in preparation. There's power in securing resources that will save lives. That's the power of A. ASAE is proud to honor the Emergency Nurses Association with a 2015 Summit Award.